Almighty God, we enter your gates with thanksgiving. We are grateful for the dawning of the new day. We thank you for preserving our lives. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. We thank you for your faithfulness that has brought us this far. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift of your presence. Thank you for the blessing you have blessed us with. Thank you for the company of your angels. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, our Savior, our glory, the lifter of our heads. We worship and exalt your name. You've done it again, King of glory. You have woke us up this morning and to you be the glory, to you be the honor, to you be the adoration. We say thank you, Lord. Be exalted in the congregation of your children. Be exalted in the congregation of the mighty. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city city of our God in the mountain of his holiness. We worship you, Lord, for you are beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole earth. We magnify your name, O God. Be exalted, be exalted. Oh, Rabba and Be exalted, Abba Father. Be exalted, the King of Kings. Be exalted, the Lord of Hosts. Be exalted, the Great and Mighty One. We worship you this morning. Hallelujah to you, King of Kings. Hallelujah to the One who is great and greatly to be praised. The Bible says in Psalm 146, Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God, even with my whole being. He says, we will not put our trust in princes or in the sons of men, but Lord, we put our trust in you this morning. We bless you. We've come to bless you. We've come to honor you, Savior. The ones you saved, we have come to worship you. The ones you died for, we have come to bless you. The ones you made a way for, we have come to say thank you. The ones you died for, oh God, have gathered to worship and exalt your holy name because great are you Lord and you are greatly to be praised. There is no one like you. We worship you our father who sits enthroned forever. We worship you our king who sits enthroned forever. Hallowed be your name this morning. Hallowed be your name this morning. Your kingdom come this morning. Your will be done this morning on earth as it is in heaven. We bless you Abba. We thank you. We glorify your name. You are our father. Ah, We worship you our father who sits in the highest heavens. We worship you, our daddy, our daddy. Your children have come. It is us, your children. We have come to you again, the author and the finisher of our faith, the author and the finisher of our faith. We worship you. We glorify your name. We've come again, our daddy. It is your child who has come. It is your daughter who has come. Your sons have come. Your children have come. We have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to call your name our daddy, to call your name our beloved father, the one who loves us. We honor you this morning. Brado se que le brado se Jana makura mazeke le bakura ba 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 ba. Let your dad in heaven hear your voice this morning. You are my daddy. You are my daddy. Your baby is here, Lord. Kura mashanda la bokura ba 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 ba. Good morning, good morning, brethren. Let the Lord hear your voice. We have not just gathered to ourselves. We have gathered to our daddy. Begin to speak to him. My daddy, my daddy, your baby has come. I am here, my father. Your beloved is here. I will be singing. I will be dancing. I'll be praising. I'll be honoring you for the rest of eternity. Almighty father, you deserve my worship this morning. You deserve my praise this morning. You deserve the adoration this morning. Oh, your baby is here, Abba Father. You are my father. You dwell in the highest heavens and I, your baby, have appeared in Mount Zion this morning. Oh Lord, my father, hearken unto the voices of your children. Legedese. 
Kele Bosia, Mazus Kele Mahanda, Le Bradosu Kalabasia. The Bible says in Joel 2.32, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be delivered, shall be saved. Call on his name this morning. We are calling your name Abba Father. We are calling your name Lord of hosts. We are calling your name King Jesus. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. We are here, our Father, calling on your name this morning. For you said upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance as the Lord has said and the remnant I hear Lord upon Mount Zion. We call your name this morning. My daddy, my daddy, your daughter is here. Your baby is here. Your beloved is here. My spirit, my spirit, praise the Lord. My soul, my soul, praise the Lord. My mind, my will, my emotions, praise the Lord. Let all that is within me praise Him. Jeke le brado si andara bosi makure ba 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 makura ba si andere bosi makure ba 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 si anda le brado suvra da si we call his name this morning for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved will be delivered ele masokola mashala mahande le bosi li gado sova kuza mare gado si makura ba 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 zeke le gado si jana na ne moskuna mahande Lebo zeke le gadus kabaro bradosia zuka dida bakura ba zeke ele makura ma zeke lebo kura ba 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 zuma le gada dada bo zeke lebo la gada si andara bo ma zika ndere 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 bo si kala bo siya ma spirit ma spirita he re gadosia praise the Lord rabos korobo shanda li gadosia la bo re gadosia ma na na neske ne mo kura ba 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 la bradosia ma zeke lebo riba ba 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 Baba, mazika le de 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 bosia, makura ba 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 ba, legado sokondo lo boshaya. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We adore you. We honor you. Kala mazi andara boshaya, le ba 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 zika le bradosia, zivra da da boseke le basia. In the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Hallelujah to the One who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah to the Ancient of Days. Hallelujah to the One who is mighty. Hallelujah to the One who is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We come by the blood of Jesus this morning. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus. We have no righteousness of our own, but you have said to us, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Father, we come through the righteousness of the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ, the Lord of lords and the King of kings. We come through his righteousness. We come through his blood. We come through the blood of the everlasting covenant. By the everlasting covenant, we appear in Mount Zion under the covering of Jesus' righteousness. Oh, we come through you, Yahweh Tzikenu, our righteousness. We come through you, Yahweh Mekadesh Kema, the Lord, our sanctification. We come through you, the one who has washed us from our sins, our transgressions and our iniquities. We come through the blood that is testifying in the courtrooms of heaven. We come through the blood of the sinless, perfect, precious Lamb of God. Let the sacrifice of Jesus begin to speak. Speak and testify for us uh, in the realm of the spirit, uh, in the realm of the natural. We plead the blood uh, upon our lives, uh, upon our, our families, uh, our spouses, our children, children's children, nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, parents. Uh, we plead the blood uh, on every man, every woman uh, who is represented here in the place of prayer. We are pleading the blood. Uh, let the testimony of the blood be heard. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Uh, Legadosia, as it was uh, on the day of the Passover. Let the blood of Jesus be upon the doorposts and the lintels of our hearts. Uh, let the blood of Jesus uh, be upon every physical habitation where we are dwelling. Uh, let the blood speak. Uh, let Lord God Almighty, every unclean spirit uh, is not permitted in our midst, uh, is not permitted in our homes. Uh, let the blood testify. Like the days of the Passover, ah, Nika Sandalabo, evil spirits must pass over, lies must pass over, evil appar- apparitions must pass over. Ah, Lekasia, premature death must pass over. Everything that is not of God must pass over. We are pleading the blood uh, upon the doorposts and lintels of our homes, uh, of our lives, uh, of our existence, uh, wherever we are, Lord. Uh, every physical space uh, that we are inhabiting this morning, every physical space uh, that our sons and our daughters are, are inhabiting, uh, every physical space uh, that our spouses, uh, our family members, our brothers and our sisters are inhabiting, this morning. Let that space uh, be preserved by the blood of Jesus. Uh, let that space uh, be protected uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, let the testimony of the blood uh, keep every trespasser out. Let every trespasser be removed from our presence uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, every hitchhiking demon uh, be rebuked this morning. Uh, familiar spirits uh, be rebuked this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Father God, whatever you've not ordained for us, uh, Let it be flushed out and purged out uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, Let the blood of Jesus purge them out. uh. Purge out, oh God. uh. Purge out, oh God. uh. Whatever is not of you, uh. whatever doesn't look like you uh. in our habitations, uh. let it be purged out this morning. uh. Sanctify the airways, oh God. uh. Sanctify as we are praying the spirit realm around us. uh. Let it be sanctified. Masukalabosia. Nothing will interfere with the glory of God. Uh, Nothing will hinder the move of the spirit uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Father, wherever your children are praying from, uh, let the power of God cleanse. uh, Let the power of God wash. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of glory. Hallelujah to the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship him this morning. Shana makure bradosia. Zuvre de debosia. Lambrado socora bababa. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning again, everyone. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 6. 2 Corinthians 6, even as we come in the place of repentance, we're not just praying for ourselves. Let's stand in the gap on behalf of our family members, our brothers, our sisters, children, children's children, you know, everyone that is connected to us. 2 Corinthians 6 from verse 14. The Bible says, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Doesn't say don't greet unbelievers, don't talk to them or don't associate with them. He says, do not be unequally yoked. In other words, there has to be a recognition that an unbeliever is dwelling in a different kingdom and you are in a different kingdom. That word, do not be unequally yoked, is a military term. It says, keep your own ranks, keep your rank. Do not leave Christians and join with unbelievers. It's saying keep your rank. You know, in the army, they have ranks. They have ranks. And if you're in a certain rank, you don't break rank and go and pretend to be a civilian. You live like you are in the army. Even when you're on your holiday, even when you come and visit home, you still live like you're in the army. You don't live like a civilian. That's why when a member of the army breaks the law, It is not the ordinary police who are supposed to deal with them. It's the military police. Even if ordinary police arrest them, the military police will come and retrieve them from the ordinary police because they're in a different realm. They don't exist in civilian realm. The Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? Remember, fellowship is not a superficial relating. Fellowship is a deep, deep relationship. And he says, what communion does light have with darkness? And what concord does Christ have with Belial? Belial is the name of Hashatan describing his worthlessness. Belial means worthless, worthless, useless. 
you know, without profit, wickedness, it doesn't bring any good result. So let us begin to pray. The Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Do not, do not bring yourself into agreement with Belial. How can two walk together except they be agreed? Are you walking and agreeing with evil agendas? Are you walking and agreeing with Belial himself, worthlessness? Are you walking and agreeing with the powers of darkness and with the witches and the wizards? Have you become your own weapon that has been fashioned against you by agreeing with what you're not supposed to agree with? Let's begin to pray this morning for ourselves, for our families. Heavenly Father, any way we've become unequally yoked, yoked together with unbelievers anyway we are having fellowship with darkness where we are fellowshipping with demons where we are fellowshipping with demonic alliances where we've become friends with witches and wizards we've become friends with unclean spirits father where there's concord between us and belial we repent of it right now on behalf of our families we repent on behalf of our spouses we repent on behalf of our children we repent on behalf of our children's children we repent on behalf of our brothers and sisters in Christ, we repent. Where in the kingdom, Lord, uh, there is an agreement with evil. Lord, we say we are sorry. We repent, oh God. Uh, anyone amongst us, oh God, uh, who has come into agreement with evil agendas, uh, we stand in the gap and we say, Lord, we repent of it. Uh, by the blood of Jesus, uh, we renounce, oh God, uh, every agreement with darkness. We renounce every agreement uh, with evil forces, uh, evil alliances, uh, anything that the enemy is speaking now and saying they've agreed with me. I'm now a part of them. Uh, Lord, we say no, 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 no. We disagree, Lord. We refuse it for our sons, our daughters. Uh, we refuse it for the church of God. Uh, we refuse it. Lebrado socorra baba sheke leba. We say no, we say no, Abba Father, we say no, anyway we are in communion with darkness, we say no Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we repent, we renounce it, we reject it, we renounce and reject the evil forces in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Father, the Bible says in verse 16 of that 2 Corinthians 6, it says what agreement does the temple of God have with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you and I'll be a father to you. And you shall be my sons and daughters, says the almighty God. The Bible says, come out from amongst them. He says, do not even touch the unclean thing. You cannot even say, oh, all I did was just touch. Do not even touch. Do not touch whatever, whether it's unclean food, whether it's unclean books, whether it's unclean films, wh whatever it is, do not touch it. Every demonic thing, every immoral thing, every physical uncleanness, you know, spiritual uncleanness, it must be cleansed from our spirit and body so that our father might dwell in us, might walk amongst us, might be with us so that when we gather, we are not just gathering to ourselves. We are gathering to the presence of almighty God. He says, come out of them, come out of them. Let's begin to pray. Lord, anyway, my temple, which, which is your body, Lord, uh, which is this body. Anyway, uh, my temple has come in agreement with idols. Uh, father, I repent. Uh, anyway, I've defiled your temple by coming into agreement with idols. Uh, anyway, my heart husband has agreed with demons, uh, where my children have agreed with demons, uh, where my brothers and sisters have agreed with demons. Uh, Lord, I repent. Uh, I repent of every idolatry. I repent of every idolatry. Anything, Lord, that is trying to take your place. Uh, Lord, I repent. Uh, I renounce it. Uh, I renounce every idolatry. I renounce every worship of self, every worship of self, every worldliness. Lord, I renounce it. Uh, everything that is not of God, I renounce it. Uh, Rabasia, Nakaske de Bosia. Whatever is defiling my temple, I reject it this morning, Lord. I come out from amongst them. I come out, oh God, from every evil alliance, every evil gathering, every ordinance of wickedness. I come out from among them. I come out, Lord. I refuse to touch the unclean thing. Wherever we've touched the unclean thing, wherever we've watched the unclean thing, wherever people have read the unclean writings, whatever, Lord, has been touched, that is not of God. We come out of it. We come out of it. We come 
come out of it. We are pleading the blood of Jesus. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Regado socorobo shandarabu. Mazokoraba lekadosia. Lebrado socorobo shandaraba. So that you can be a father to us and we remain your children. Makalebo sia rabasia. Mazuke lebrodosia. Rabo sukala brodosia. In the name of Jesus, uh, Father, we receive this morning a uh, realignment, uh, realignment, repositioning uh, in the altars of God, uh, repositioned to righteousness, uh, to righteousness, honesty, purity. Lord, we reposition ourselves this morning. Anyway, we've shifted uh, from the center of your will. Uh, we come back to the narrow road. Uh, you said wide is the path that leads to destruction. Narrow is the path uh, that leads to eternal life. Uh, Lord, uh, by your spirit, realign us and reposition us to the center of your will. Reposition our brothers, our sisters in Christ. Reposition the church of God. Reposition our families. Everyone around us, oh God, may we be at the center of your will in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. First Thessalonians 5, 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 23 and 24. The Bible says, and the very God of peace, Yahweh Shalom, Sanctify you holy. Sanctify. Set us apart for holy use. Holy. Every part of us through and through. It says, I pray God that your whole spirit and soul and body will be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he who called you, who also will do it. Let's begin to receive that scripture and say, Jehovah Shalom, my God, thank you for sanctifying me through and through that my whole spirit, my soul and my body is preserved blameless until the coming of my Lord Jesus Christ. I am preserved because you are faithful. You have called me and you will help me, Lord, to remain perfect until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will preserve my spouse, my children, my children's children, my parents, my grandparents, my brothers, my sisters, nieces, nephews, brothers and sisters in Christ, prayer partners. All of us were preserved uh, holy through and through spirit, soul and body. Lord, there will be no lending ground for the enemy in any part of our lives. Lord, wherever the enemy was trying to land in our spirit, we declare it's impossible right now because we are sanctified. Wherever the enemy was trying to land in our souls, we declare it's impossible because Lord, we are sanctified through and through. Wherever the enemy is trying to land on our physical bodies, we say, no, it is impossible. We are sanctified. We are sanctified. Wherever the enemy is trying to land on our spouses, on our children, on our children's children, on our prayer partners, we say no. We are sanctified. Holy. We are sanctified through and through. There is sanctification here in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Brethren, the reason we are praying these prayers is so that the evil one has no landing ground. You know, when they have a landing ground, they are able to oppose the counsel and the purposes of God for our lives. But we want to stand in that place where there is no reason why today you cannot experience that miraculous presence of God, where there's no reason why you cannot get your breakthrough. You know, when they have no landing ground, automatically we are blessed. We are blessed and highly favored. When they have no landing ground, we are healed. We are delivered. We we are full of life. We are full of the goodness of the Lord because he has come so that we might have life and life in abundance. Father, thank you this morning that the legal grounds of the evil ones are purged out of our lives. They have no reason to oppose our miracles. They have no reason to oppose what our daddy is doing for us because our father loves us and it is the father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Yes, Thank you, Lord. In Luke 12, 32, child of God, Luke 12, 32, Jesus said to you and I, he is saying to you and I, he says, do not be afraid, little flock. Do not be afraid, my children, my babies, my sons and daughters. Do not be afraid for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It is, it pleases our father to give us the kingdom and the kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of heaven is 
is deliverance. There is no poverty in his kingdom. There is no premature death in his kingdom. There is nothing evil in his kingdom. And Jesus says, don't be afraid this morning. My little flock, my children, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. When you get the kingdom and you say, thank you, father. Father says, it's my pleasure. When you get your breakthrough and you say, thank you, father. Father says, it's my pleasure. Begin to thank him this morning and say, Lord, I believe your word in Luke 12, 32. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid because it's my father's good pleasure to give me the kingdom. And in the kingdom of heaven is everything I need. In the kingdom is deliverance, is grace of God. In the kingdom is favor. In the kingdom is love. In the kingdom is victory. In the kingdom is abundance. Everything I need has been wired into the kingdom. And this morning I received the kingdom. I received the kingdom. Yes, ragados sokolobo. Let your kingdom come in my life, my father. This morning, I dwell in the dimensions of the kingdom of heaven. Shanama Kurabasia, whatever the kingdom of heaven wants to give me this morning, I receive it because it's my father's good pleasure to give me the kingdom. The breakthrough I'm waiting for, it is in the kingdom. Everything I need, it is in the kingdom. Our ah, Lord, this morning I receive what you have wired for me in the kingdom of heaven. Everything God has programmed for us to receive this morning. We receive it. Makura Bababashanda. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to bind all the hindering spirits. We want to bind them because they have no legal ground. In First Thessalonians chapter 2. First Thessalonians chapter 2. The Bible records in verse 18. The apostle Paul said, you know what? I would have come to you. I wanted to come. Even I, Paul, once and again and again, I wanted to come. But Satan hindered us. And you know, he has that ministry of hindering people. Hindering, standing in front of you and saying, no road. You're not going through. No, no, no. Putting evil roadblocks. Satan hindered us. He, 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 he stopped them. From getting to where they were supposed to go. But you and I will refuse to be hindered. And stopped by the kingdom of darkness. Begin to pray this morning. And say in the powerful name of Jesus. I bind whatever is hindering me. From receiving what God has in store for me today. I bind every demonic spirit. Assigned to hinder. Every satanic roadblock. I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father God. Every roadblock of Satan. Wherever they are emanating from. In the name of Jesus we come against them. We bind oh God. Every satanic activity that is designed to hinder whatever is hindering deliverance, ah, whatever is hindering breakthrough, whatever is hindering uh, the manifestation of those babies, uh, whatever is manif- Lord hindering the manifestation, oh God, uh, of that letter of acquittal, whatever is, oh God, hindering the manifestation uh, of that letter of restoration and recompense, uh, whatever is hindering uh, the promotion, uh, the new level. Father, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Makura babasia, makura babasia, makura babasia, maroko koko bosia, lega dosia. Father God, the hindrances, I come against them. Makura baraka dosi kala brodosia, malega doso kora bashanda lebo kura bababa. Jeke leke do seke lebo kura bababa baba. Lega dosu rabosia nda rabosia. Makura bababa baba. Every hindrance, Lord. Every hindrance. I come against it in the name of the Lord Jesus. I come against it. All the sambalats and the tobayas that have been assigned to hinder the completion of what you are building in our lives. Father, we bind them. We bind them. Leke seke lebo sikala bosia. We bind them. We come against their evil works. We say they cannot prevail, oh God. They cannot prevail. Makura baba 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 baba. Oh rekete legado sokora bashaya. Legado sokora basi kalaba. Mazukalabo. Father, I bind whatever it is that have been assigned, oh God, to delay your children. Every satanic roadblock, we locate you with the finger of God and we cast you out. Masukale bradosia. You cannot delay us. You cannot delay any one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shana Masi Kalabasia. Thank you, Lord. Child of God, remember in the book of Nehemiah 4, in the book of Nehemiah 4, when the children of God had the assignment and God had given them favor and they'd been given finances by the king, they'd been given everything they needed. And then Sambala and Tobiah came and they, they, they resisted them. How did they resist them? Number one, when you read Nehemiah 4 verse 1, he says, first of all, they were very angry with them. Indignation was poured out on them. You know, there's something about people being angry against you for no reason. They are angry because you are building. They are angry because you are promoted. They are angry because you have an opportunity. Their anger is projecting evil against you. Number two, they mocked them. Anger and mockery. They started mocking them and say, what do they think they are doing? These feeble Jews, these weak people. What do they think they are doing? What uh, will they be able to raise up all this uh, rubbish that is here? And then they said, even what they build, if a fox goes up on it, it will break down. You know, the, number one, they were angry. They sent anger. Number two, they sent mockery. Number three, they sent a curse. You know, when they're saying whatever you build, when a fox goes up, it will break down. That's a curse. I want us to pray and say, Lord, wherever Satan is seeking to hinder me through the anger of those who are jealous, who are envious of my position. Father God, I shut down their evil anger. It cannot bring any calamity in my life. Their anger cannot bring any problem in my life, in my business, in my profession, in my marriage, in my children's life, in my finances. Their anger, that anger of the jealous ones uh, cannot oppose and stop me. Lord Tosu Kalabasia, I shut them down in their anger. They have risen up against me, Lord. Uh, they are angry about the opportunities you have opened. Uh, Father, I come against it. Their anger, Lord, will come to no effect in the name of Jesus. The anger they are projecting against me, I shut it down. The anger they are projecting against me, I shut it down. Whoever is angry, whoever is fuming and indignant against what you are doing in our lives. Father, we shut down their anger. We shut them down in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. All those who are angry with us, Lord, they will come to nothing. The Bible says those who are incensed against you they shall become nothing they will burn like stubble and become nothing at all whoever is incensed and angry against us it will come to nothing in the name of the lord jesus thank you father in jesus name amen number two we come against their mockery anyone releasing mockery against any of us or any of our family members our children father lord we return their mockery on their own heads what they wish for us it will happen to them their mockery returns on their own heads anyone who is mocking you who wants you to 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 lose your self-esteem whoever wants you to feel that you are small you are not what god ordained you to be father we return their mockery back on their own heads in the name of jesus you see the impact of mockery is that you begin to lose sight of the greatness that god wired in you the impact of mockery is that you begin to doubt yourself you begin to doubt what god ordained you to be father lord whatever evil seed of mockery that wants people to lose confidence wants them to lose confidence in who you ordained them to be father god we return it back to the heads of the sender sevenfold in the name of jesus anyone trying to mock us they will be the victim of mockery anyone trying to mock us they will be the victim of their mockery in the mighty name of the lord jesus every mockery returns on their heads in the mighty name of jesus thank your father in jesus name amen number three they said look whatever they built even if a fox goes up on it, it will break down. They laid a curse on the work and God disappointed them. Begin to speak and say, Lord, anyone cursing the works of my hands, anyone cursing my promotion, my increase, my enlargement, my blessing, my joy, my health, my peace, anyone cursing the good things that you have given to me, Lord. Father God, I decree and declare their curse is broken by the blood of Jesus. Their curse cannot prevail over me because by the blood of Jesus, the legal grounds for the curse to land have been removed you said a curse causeless shall not alight like a bird flying about and the swallow flying lord god almighty a curse that is causeless shall not land therefore this morning whoever is trying to curse the work of our hands father god we break the curse we break the curse anyone cursing our children we break their curse 
whether in school, whether it's our relatives, anyone speaking evil words over my sons and daughters, I break their curses in the name of the Lord Jesus. I break the curse. I break the curse. I break the curse. Makura baba sheke telebosi. Mazuka le bragadosi. Makura baba sheke lebosi. Makura baba sikala bradosi. Anyone cursing me, cursing my children, cursing my marriage, cursing my spouse, cursing my finances, cursing my peace, cursing my joy, cursing my promotion. Anyone cursing that divine opportunities Holy Ghost has opened up. Father God, we break their curse. Every curse, every limiting factor that has been laid on anything that belongs to us. Father, we break it. Even within our families, whoever is cursing our children, Father, we break their curses. We break their curses. Whoever is saying, we shall see. We shall see. Hmm. They will not amount to anything. Whoever is saying, we will see. Oh, Lord God Almighty, we break their curse. We break their curse. In the mighty name of Jesus, we break their curse. Let the curse be broken. Child of God, curses come in all sorts of fashions. Sometimes you just hear them saying, hmm, but in their heart, they are speaking unbelievable things. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, this is not a fictional story. This is a true story based on a member of my own family. Once upon a time, there is this sister. Sister is happily married. Sister and the husband. They, they have a very big business in a certain country in Southern Africa. The country is very good. You know, the, um, what you call it? The economy of the country is strong. Um, I think one, one of their currency is equivalent to 10 British pounds. So it's a strong currency in Africa. So they are doing well. They have a good business. And then an auntie asks to come and visit them. The auntie comes and observes how much money they have, how good their life they are living. Observes how wonderful the husband is, how generous, how beautiful. They are always laughing in their house. When she leaves the house, she goes back to Zimbabwe and she says, hmm, hmm, all that, all that showing off, all that pride will come to an end one day. Uh -huh. All that pride. Meanwhile, what pride did they do? Nothing. Just that they are eating well, dressing well, living well. And they did a lot of shopping for her. So the answer was all that arrogance, it will, all that showing off will come to an end. Within one year, the marriage was on the rocks. The husband moved out. They couldn't even trace what is it they are fighting about. And then because he moved out and this, he did this, his business started to fail. Before you know it, he lost the business. Before you know it, the whole thing turned upside down. And before all that happened, the Lord had given me a dream. I saw in the dream, this person cursing what they had and it was dying. Child of God, it is serious. You might think you are hosting your favorite relative. They are there. They are cursing. Child of God, every curse, every curse that some, Sambala and Tobiah are speaking over you and saying, hmm, what do they think they are building? Lord, we overturn it. That hindrance, Satan is assigning evil words to hinder you. We break it lord we break their evil pronouncement it shall never come to pass in the name of jesus they look at you in your heart you are walking into church you are even walking into church not walking into a party and they speak as saying, hmm it will come to an end. Father God, we cancel it. We revoke it. We reverse it. Every word spoken against us to diminish our status, to diminish our status. Anyone watching, watching us and, and speaking evil. Father God, we break their evil curses. We break their pronouncements. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Child of God, as we want to round up this morning, I want you to repeat this pronouncement after me. It's not a curse. It's just we want to destroy all these hindrances. We want to destroy them wherever they've been wired, wherever they have spoken. And it looks like it has happened. We want to deprogram it and revoke it. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and say in the name of Jesus. I demand. The immediate demolition of all satanic structures and spiritual roadblocks that have been activated 
by statements made by me or statements made by others concerning my destiny at the destinies of my spouse, my children, my children's children, my brothers, my sisters, my prayer partners in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus name, I want you to declare and say in the name of Jesus, I escape the evil schemes, the traps and the devices crafted to steal my health, to hinder my destiny and my divine blessings. Anything crafted to hinder my good future, to hinder my gifts and spiritual development, Anything assigned to hinder academic well-being for those who are studying. Whatever is designed to hinder professional opportunities. I come against whatever is designed to block my financial opportunities. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against whatever is opposing my ministry opportunities. Lord, I come against every delay that has been assigned on my divine prophetic destiny. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I demolish these blockades in the name of Jesus Christ. I demolish these fortresses. I come against them in the name of the Lord Jesus. I come against uh, every disappointment, uh, every disappointment, every laboring in vain. Uh, I come against it. Uh, any futility, I come against it. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, in the lives of the people of God, uh, in the church of God, uh, we come against it. Uh, Lord God Almighty, in my spouse's life, my children, my children's children, I come against it. Uh, I will not labor in vain. I will not labor in vain. I will not be delayed. I will not be hindered. I will not be opposed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever wants to bring vanity in my life, I say no, 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 no. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I refuse it. Anything that wants good projects to be abandoned in my life, I say no. There is no project that will be abandoned in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Brethren, you remember. The Bible says, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. I want you to pray and say, I take hold of all my thoughts. I command my thoughts to obey Jesus. I will not think any thought of failure. I will not think any thought of giving up. I will not think any thought of frustration. I will not think anything that agrees with the enemy. I take hold of all my thoughts. By the power in the name of Jesus, I declare victory by the blood of Jesus over my thought life in the name of Jesus. The enemy cannot suggest evil to my mind in the name of the Lord Jesus. All my thoughts are agreeing with the will of God. All my thoughts are agreeing because as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. As I'm thinking right now, I am victorious. I am above. I am on top. I am going higher and higher every day. I am the head and not the tail. Yes, I am a lender that to many nations I'm not a borrower in the name of Jesus I am blessed in the city I am blessed in the village I am blessed going in I am blessed coming out in the name of Jesus I am above I am unstoppable I cannot be hindered I cannot be stopped my spouse my children my brothers my sisters my parents my nieces my nephews my prayer partners everyone around me we cannot be hindered we cannot be hindered we cannot be hindered. Whatever the devil stole from us, uh, we take it back. Uh, we take it back. Uh, oh, we receive restoration. We receive restoration. We receive restoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Jesus is building me as a part of the church. And the gates of hell will never prevail against me. I am being built as a habitation of God's holiness. I, the gates of hell cannot prevail against me. As a part of the church, I am being built up. I am being fortified. I am being strengthened. I am being empowered. The gates of hell, all the gates of hell, wherever they are, they cannot prevail against me. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, remember gates also represents the place where verdicts are made. It represents the place where the court sits. You're going to pray. Whatever verdicts are coming out of the kingdom of darkness against me and my family and our destinies, uh, Father, they cannot prevail against us. Whatever judgments and verdicts, uh, evil verdicts uh, that they have spoken against us, uh, Father, they cannot prevail. They cannot prevail in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I permanently erase evil verdicts by the blood of Jesus. I erase evil, evil lies spoken by demons against my family. I erase them. Whatever they've said, Lord, it is cancelled by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. It is cancelled. It is cancelled. The power of God cancels it. The power of God cancels it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, I was in a meeting on Friday. I was very disappointed. But you know what? We are spirit beings. We're going to pray. And I know it happens to other people like me. You know, the devil wants to make you invisible. Wants to make you invisible. I was in a meeting on Friday. Um, some of you know that I've been asking for prayers because for many months now, since January, I have worked overtime, I have worked the day, I have worked night, I have worked weekends, so that our program would be revalidated by the Nursing and Midwifery Council. We have worked so hard. Now, I am the program leader for our nursing on our program. I have a colleague who is a social worker who works with me, but in terms of nursing, I am the program leader for nursing. And this person is with me in a meeting on Friday. And the director of nursing, remember, I am the nurse. This other person is a social worker. When it comes to nursing, I am the one leading the nursing work, right? We're in a meeting on Friday. We're doing the final runs of the presentation we're going to present on Wednesday by God's grace. And all of a sudden, this director of nursing and midwifery, she starts talking and she says, um, I just want to thank so and so my colleague who's in who's social work. I want to thank her for all the hard work she has done on this work. I want to thank her. She's wonderful. I've even told the director of social sciences that she is wonderful. It's been a pleasure working with her. I am sitting there in the meeting. She's going on. After she finished talking, one of the leads for um, children and young people's nursing spoke up and said, what about patients, a star who has done all this work? And then this woman said, oh, she's not here. And remember, I'm the only black person there. She went, oh, she's not here. And the woman said, but she's done great things. And, she's, and I, I, I spoke up and 10 other, other heads of different subjects, they spoke up and said, she's here. And then she went, <laughs> and tried to move the conversation on. Child of God. Whatever wants us to be invisible, that after all the work, they want you to be invisible. They want you not to be acknowledged. Yes, I know there is racism, but I refuse to be invisible. Father, in the name of Jesus, every demon that is trying to make our work invisible, wants us to be invisible, wants our voices to be silenced, wants our names to be deleted. Father God, we come against it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We come against it, Lord. Every power assigned to delete our names from the work we have done. Every power assigned to delete our children from the work they have done. Every power assigned to delete our legacy. Father God, we come against it in the name of the Lord Jesus. We will not labor in vain. We receive the fruit of our labor. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. And child of God, people in the meeting were expecting my colleague to speak up and say, no, I'm not the program leader for nursing. It's patience. She kept quiet. She never said a word. And then I went to my daughter's school this same Friday morning. I went to my daughter's school. They have a program in the morning where, te- where parents come into class and do reading with their own children. So I went in and when I went into my daughter Zoe's class, I went to a teacher. For three weeks, Zoe has had no homework. And this is a child who excels. Brethren, this child excels in school. She is good. She is good in every way. She excels. She's the best reader, the best writer. And she's had nothing to read at home for three weeks. No homework, no nothing. She excels in everything. Maths, English. So I went to a teacher. I said, for three weeks, Zoe's had no homework. And you know, the first thing she answered me is, it's not my fault if there's something wrong with your child and she'll be losing her homework. I have all these children to look after. I cannot just be looking after one child. If you had the best student in your class without homework for three weeks, wouldn't you be worried and even want to find out what is happening and even contact their parents? So when she shouted, I let her finish shouting and I said, you didn't hear what I said. And I started again in a calm voice. I told her again. She shouted again. I said, you didn't hear what I said. I repeated it five times until she spoke in a normal voice and gave me the homework that is supposed to be given to my daughter. But afterwards, when I was leaving, I was asking myself, how is it that the best student you have, even on parents evening, when we look at Zoe's books, they're perfect. And you stand there and show me the other work of the other children and say, Zoe, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to add on to her. She is wonderful all round behavior, character, everything. How is it that for three weeks, your, your best student has no homework and you're shouting about it? Child of God, every power assigned to even hinder our children, to stop them from what they're supposed to be. We come against it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Everything, even in our children's life, that notices how good they are and wants to stop them and wants to hinder them. We come against it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We come against it, Lord. I come against it. Whatever, Lord, has been assigned, Lord, to hinder our children and our children's children, we come against it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally, I want to give us Romans 4. Romans 4. The Bible says about Father Abraham, he became the father of faith because of this. In in verse 17 of Romans 4, it says, He believed God who is able to quicken the dead and cause the things that are not as though they were. Abraham hoped against hope. He believed even when all hope was gone. That he would become a father to many nations. What is it that you're supposed to believe God for this morning? And he says he was not weak in faith. He was not weak in faith. He was not, he did not consider the physical circumstances. He looked beyond that. And then in Romans 4.20, which is where I want you to hang on. Even as we leave this prayer line today for the rest of your week, for the rest of the month, for the rest of your years, hang on to Romans 4. He says, he did not stagger at the promise of God through unbelief. Unbelief makes you stagger. You know how a drunk, a drunken person walks about. They are staggering. They are not able to walk uh, straight. He says he did not stagger at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and was fully persuaded that what God had promised, he is able to perform. I want you to pray for yourself and say, Lord, this morning I decree and declare I will no longer stagger at the promises of God through unbelief. Unbelief will not cause me to stagger. Unbelief will not stop me. I move, I move in the strength of renewed faith, giving glory to God. There is a song I love that Moses please sang. 
Hallelujah. He says we're getting bigger every day. He says we have moved. I say we have moved. We have moved. We have moved forward in the strength of God with renewed faith. Child of God, let your faith be renewed this morning. Let your faith be renewed. Let there be a renewal of your faith. You're not going to stagger no more. You're not going to stagger with unbelief. You are moving. I will not stagger. God said it. I believe it. It is so. That is what it is. It is what it is. I am great. I am highly favored. I am on top. I am above. I will not be hindered. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Child of God, believe it this morning. Do not stagger. Whatever letter they wrote to you, let it not cause you to stagger. Whatever they told you, it will not move you. Whatever email, whatever phone call, it will not move you. Whatever the words of people say, that they are all liars. You are going forward. Whoever is talking against our greatness is a liar. Whoever is saying something different is a liar. We will not stagger in the name of Jesus. And belief will not stop you. I was saying to us yesterday, children of God, whatever you need to do, go and do it. Stop asking for prayer. Don't say, brethren, pray for me to have confidence. You already have confidence because the greater one lives in you. Greater is he who is in you than the one in the world. Don't say I'm afraid because God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. What you need to do, go and do it. Do not stagger in unbelief. Let unbelief not keep you sitting down at home doing nothing. Move. We have moved spiritually we have moved in the name of Jesus. Father God, I just want to pray over all my brethren. I cover them in the blood of Jesus. I decree nobody can undo what you have done. Nobody can shut the doors that you have opened because in Revelation 3, 7, you said you have the key of David. When you open a door, nobody can shut it. Doors of promotion are opened. Doors of lifting are opened. Doors of enlargement are opened. Doors of favor are opened. Doors of divine health are opened. Doors of increase are opened. Doors of joy and celebration are open. They cannot be shut in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare permanent deliverance and release of our spirit, soul, and bodies from the hands of the enemy. Our destinies are loose. Our stars are loose so that we can shine brighter and brighter. We yield ourselves to the service of the Lord in the name of Jesus. We are walking, talking, living, breathing miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen.